Most likely Longbeard Castle. Which is kind of sad. Hello. We got over there some uh, 38. Ch -ch -ch. Heretic. Some of the somethings? Okay, I, can, I think I can take those guys on. 39. Hello, heretic invokers. This will be indeed fun, but... I'll have to deal with your cavalry charge first, and then attack all out. Wait, you guys don't have horses? Well then, never mind. Everybody charge. Oh, nope, there they are. Where are, the, where are you guys hiding? The fuck? Maybe I didn't notice the troop movement too much. So, the boys should be able to handle these guys. Oh, black equipment. So original. Well, they do have a tint of red on the shield, so... I guess that shows their... Fury, fury, worshipping of Satan. Well, whatever. Mm, are we done here? Oh, shit, nope, there's one more who's just... I feel I feel like this guy swung his sword through the head of a Kraken Radari and the Kraken Radari was like, ah, I'm a, it's okay, I'm Batman. But... What was, maybe that was just me. Hi. Seriously, you're putting up quite a fight. See, on some tester systems, a troop with possible but not optimal shield like Immortals consistently spawn with shields a lot more than on different when they tend to get two-handed swords more often. And it's over the course of hundreds of test runs. Cool. That is... Pretty interesting that there's a pattern. That there's such a pattern. But again, I feel like it is not consistent enough to, you know, to um, justify playing on an older system, on an older PC or something like that for a, you know, outright advantage. But still, again, it's an interesting fact that it influences the way soldiers get equipped. Hmm. Right, let's check the tavern. Mello, Minheim Adventures. Those could be could be quite useful. Knights of Eventide and Quorum of Bray. Nothing from your travelers, huh? From your travels, huh? Okay. And nothing up here either. Hmm. I wonder if I have to visit the treasure chest. Let me go check. I'm not sure if I received a task to visit the treasure chest, but we'll check it out nonetheless. Alright. Okay, right there. Hmm. I think I heard that it was something about. I, I heard that the R the random number generator, is um, connected to, the ticks of the processor or something. I, I'm not exactly sure. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah, just a fun fact, more than, oh my god, I know this incredibly huge hidden OP secret. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, CPU clock. Oh, well, again. Interesting that you still need to base that RNG on certain algorithms or certain uh, factors that need to be taken into consideration. Pretty cool. Hello, Skulltag. Welcome to the inn. You're a programmer. You know how random number generators work for computers. Okay. So can you debunk what Arignator has stated? I 
And my god, this is not a challenge. If you can debunk what Eregnator has stated, kudos, my man. And I bet Eregnator would be impressed as well. And nom nom. I think this is the final battle. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Cavalry, wait a bit. Let me just get in there first. Let, let the infantry get in there first, and then we're going to tell everybody to charge. Like right now, for example. Again, this is kind of a trivial matter. Random number of generators are giving a seed, basically a starting point, and it spits out values based on what you want in the same order of using the same seed. Again, okay. So the seed is not influenced by the CPU ticks or something. Could you please give an example of a seed? Because I think, uh, at least I'm a little bit confused on what a seed means and how it works. That must hurt. That spear in the back must hurt. And most likely if it hits the vertebra, you're paralyzed. So we haven't lost anybody. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, no, they don't get influenced. This creates the exact same world that another person made as well. Okay. Okay, now I understand what a seed is. It's simply a, val a, a set of values that will generate a certain pattern that you're looking for. So a different CPU has no influence. Okay. Well, we'll have to fight those Vendor Carry Raiders as well. Oh no, please don't don't join. Don't join the battle. Oh, you mother truckers. Okay. I guess that makes sense. So everything that Arignator mentioned that on different systems it uh, values a certain pattern of equipment is simply coincidence. Well, I guess it would make sense because Arignator did state that they couldn't pinpoint the exact reason what influenced what influenced which equipment. God damn you. Just need three more renown. Maybe some of these villages like help or something? No, they don't. Well, I'm going to go back near the Vanscary Landing. That's definitely where they should appear. Well, okay. So, it was simply a matter of trivia. Thank you for clarifying, Skulltag. Although, we are, you know, trusting the sayings of a random person on the internet, but... I guess what you're saying does make sense. Because why would a CPU influence such a value if there's no direct relation between the formula utilized for the random number generator and said CPU? Okay, Arenator, could you please... Do you have any proof? Or some, you know, logical, calculated reason why it was not a coincidence? Oh, I, I like this conversation. I'd like to keep it going. is moving back infantry charge archers charge will bring in the cavalry a little bit later 
want to be this consistent how what's the percentage and what are the differences between the, the tested computers as in was it something I don't know something like on older CPUs there was a 70 70 percent chance that you're gonna be getting two handers and a 30 percent chance of getting one hander something like that I reckon there are some numbers some number crunching would be great. Or vice versa, or, or I don't know. 60% of the times on an older computer, um, they went with the suboptimal gear, or something like that, or they went with the optimal gear. You're back with a huge mug of coffee? Cheers to you too, mate. Cheers to you too. Well, you don't usually cheer with coffee. Or with juice. But, I don't know. I feel like cheering. And the quest has been successfully, successfully dunion ringed. Finally, we can give this quest away and never mention it ever again yep i'm not going to be visiting this quest anytime soon completely completely not worth doing i'm curious to see what's going to be the reward for this quest but well the good thing about this quest we did gain 180 renown which will increase our you know army size passively so that's that's a good thing. That's awesome. It was not a complete waste of time. I will, you know, based on the reward that we're going to be getting from the this quest, we will decide if it was a complete waste of time from the reward perspective. Elisa and Leslie have leveled up. That is awesome. Charisma 18, Persuasion 6 for Elisa. Um, if we have enough points, I might just go into trade to the max with Elisa. We'll see, because cause why not? It's a party skill. And it's based on charisma, so fuck yes. Also, should start thinking of taking the horse away and making her into a dedicated crossbow lady soon. And for you, Leslie, more intellect would be great. And just upgrading that first aid and wound treatment up to seven will be Awesome. That should do it. Oof. Let's go. Further to Windholm and give this quest in. Also, we should... I'll do a quick stop at Valenbray. Do we went past Valenbray? No. Perfect. I'm going to do a quick stop at Valenbray to just to sell the excess loot that we get. Maybe refill on food if need be. No, still looking good on food. And we already checked the tavern over here, so we can just go. We can just go. Are all of my party members female? No, they're not. My character is female. Lethal Lauren male. Serene is male. Sigmund is male. Diev is male. Anton is male. Sir Alistair is male. Elisa, Julia, Cavera, and Leslie are females. And interestingly enough, this is simply a coincidence, they're the brains of the operation. They're my intellect characters, while the above boys are mostly on combat stats. The Kraken and Radari are simply male, because that's how the unit works. You don't have that data because they never released it to the public. When they were running the test, they noticed some people got consistently different results, and when they were trying to... To find out why, they noticed that on some PCs the game consistently prioritized different equipment for some troops. So we are we don't have the data, they never released it, so we're simply going on what some people said without the ability to prove it. Mm-hmm. I see. Okay, man. Really feels a little bit, you know. Slightly bullshit. I'm sorry, I'm not in a mean way, but it does feel a, a slightly on the bullshit side. 
In your current playthrough, you're on day 300. Sarleon only has Sarleon. Our lords are sitting there and, and holding on feasts on one another. That's nice. Okay, let's go to the castle. I wonder if I take the do the tournament quest now from the Kraken Radari. Will they give me to do the tournament over here in one hole? That'd be cool. I won many victories for the order. Okay, so what do we get? Fifty renown and gain honor. We increased our relations for from forty five to fifty three, so by eight points, and we received twenty one rank points. That was that was not bad. Overall, we we're 230 renown higher so that's cool unless the seat for the render generator was the same when generating multiple battles on a single cpu like using frame rate as the seat for the game you can't think of any way it would prioritize equip equipment based on cpu okay as arenator said skull tag they couldn't uh pinpoint exactly what influenced the you know prior prioritization of different equipment Okay, I'm grateful I'll accept your services, and we take five Kraken Radari. Boop. Did we already have some Kraken Radari? Fuck yeah, we did. We have two. All right. Is there anything else I can help out with? Yes, there are bounties, and there's a tournament. You have her. I've heard you have problems with rivals. We're gonna do the problems with rivals first. I'm bound to do so. The Turks. The Turks did this game. Egeli Baran, welcome to the inn. I assume you're from Turkey. Shut up, Aragnator. Just roll with it. Alright, let's bring... Of course. Your friend's father? Cool. So let's bring up if your friend's father is doing is currently developing mountain blade, tell him to bring out Battle Lords faster. Send him this message for me, okay? Okay. Congratulations. Congratulations. I don't particularly care. Alright. Man, man, each time we shine when people when Turkish people come on, on on the stream, it sounds like I'm so unfriendly to them. Which I'm not, but I, I'm just tired of this joke. I'm just tired of this joke. Ejali Baran, thank you for becoming a follower, dude. Welcome to Hit Point In. My name's Raval, I'll be your bartender, and I really hope you enjoy your stay. Drinks are on me. Also, 15 Storm Sisters randomly. Mm, I don't really need those Storm Sisters. We're at 197. Okay, cool. Mm, kind of doesn't. Kind of really doesn't. I kind of agree with Arignator. But hey, each with their own. Now, we need to attack said... Knights of the Lion. Hello, I apologize. We gotta attack you. That shit happens sometimes. Oh, goody goody. Cavalry, get in there. Yeah, cavalry, get in there. Infantry, sit right there. Archers over there. Start shooting. That'll be good. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with our leader. It's just got old. You are, I think, the 18th? Either the 18th or the 19th Turk who came in here. I did Wikicade, but those troops were uh, borrowed troops from the Knighthood Order. This is my army. This, These are my boys. These are my good boys. Here's what we can go in and charge now. This is my. This was my previous army that were on standby until we did this quest. Oh yeah. Can I play Fire and Sword multiplayer? If you will, I can join. 
Another time. Another time, my dude. Yep. Picked up the army from the inventory. Mm -hmm. These are my boys. Crutzarleon Houndskull Bassinet. Okay, cool. Anybody wants that? No? Alright. Let's move on. Sorry, my man, I have a tight schedule, so I really can't play multiplayer right now, but some other time. Okay, some other time, my dude. And thank you for the, you know, statement that we already knew. I've settled the problem with the Knights of Lyon. We are now at 56. Uh, can I get a promotion? Thank you. We are now Knight of the Order of the Kraken Cultists. Okay. That gave us... 59... Mask to one to body. Kraken plate mail, 58.19. It's simply better. It's simply better. And a Kraken shield, 18 resistance, 700 health. Almost as good. Almost as good. Damn. I would love to wear this. I would love to wear this, but that four extra armor is just too good to give up. I'm a pretty streamer. Why? Why? Thank you. Oh, 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 dear. Why? Why? Thank you. Uh, do I know where you can uh, see your current rank points for the Knighted Order you're in? You can find it on the character sheet, my dude. Let me let me show you. So we go out reports character report. I think over here, yeah, you are knight 105, that's your rank points. Skull tag. You need to be a knight commander to unlock the arquebusier and arbalet. Uh, yes, Uncle Bob, and you need 300 proficiency in those. No problem, Skull tag, all's good. Fifty-three three rule, that should be fine. I kind of need more honor rating. I'd like that honor to be a little further uppity. Should be fine. Uh, before we do anything else, let's manage my party's inventory. Let them grab whatever they want from this pile. Beautiful. And I'll sell off the rest. I think it's Night Commander, Uncle Bomb. Can I make an army like kings or something? I'm, I'm sorry, could you please rephrase that question? I don't really understand it. What do you mean when you say that, can I make an army like kings? As in crusader kings, or... What are you referring to? Uh, as big as a faction king? Hello, Miturato. This is not a DLC. This is a overhaul mod. And it's simply an overhaul mod for Warband. It's called Prophecy of Pendor. And it is the best overhaul mod out there currently for Prophecy of Pendor. Uh, for Mountain Blade. That's a good one. Kraken Shield requires Shield 5. That's the reason they didn't take it. I'll keep the shield on hand for a little while longer. We'll see if uh, somebody shows up with the willingness and the skill required to equip that. Yes. Yes, um, I already have an army. I have a 198-sized army currently, but once I become the king of my own faction, I think I'm going to be reaching the 300s pretty easily. So, yes. Yes, dude, yes, I can. One that walks with me? Well, I could tell them to follow me around. I'm still kind of confused on what you guys are referring to. One that walks with me. What do we got here? Adiz, Emala, Sarah the Fox is also here. Freddy? Oh, Freddy. Hmm. Wasn't I supposed to send Freddy to gather right to rule? I don't know. I seem to recall. I don't know. What's his job? 
Come back, my dude. Let's see if I need to send you to gather a right rule. I want need more soldiers holding a thief. Connections. Okay, yeah. We've already sent him to get a retro rule. We need to separate for a while. For a while, not not too much time, but all's good. Sometimes you get a message that a king has hired a group of mercenaries. Can he be a guard of King Gravith? Sure, I guess he can be a guard of King Gravith if he stay and follow his ass. Oh yes, you can be a marshal, definitely. And yes, you can hire merc troops. Yes, you can hire a mercenary company to help you. Like uh, the Red Brotherhood Mercenary Company, or the Snow Lion Brigade, or the Something Something Brigade, or the Mettenheim... Fear Brother? Clear Brother? Something Something? Yeah, yeah, you can. But only if you're a king of a faction. Only then you can hire these mer merc companies. Okay, anything else I can do for you? Tournament champion. Where? In Windholm. Fuck yes. Beautiful. Alright, let's save and get in and join this tournament. Four teams, two fighters each. Well, don't worry. I'm gonna be dealing with this swiftly. Kraken Radari was knocked out by a Kraken Radari. But I I thought I was the only Kraken Radari representative in the tournament. I have been lied to. Frey Brother. Okay, does that mean Free Brother? I think it means Free Brother, right? How can you have this warband? Go to the Steam Workshop. And simply download prof search and download Prophecy of Pendor, Meturato. I fair warning, it is a very difficult mod. I'm sorry, what's that code? Twenty three TL, my dude. What are you talking about? I see. Okay. Free brother. Got it. Thought so. Sure, should I whisper? Go for it. Are you simply referring to um, Enterprises? Okay. Also, if you, um, Metrato, if you need help with Prophecy of Pendor, I do recommend that you. Check out my guide. If you type in exclamation point Pendor guide one word, so together, um, you can, you know, see exactly how to beat this game. Indeed, money cows. Uh, Turkish Lira code. I'm not sure what that is, but man, what does the code do? Hmm. You can't find it on Steam. Um, do you have Mountain Blade installed? First of all. I think I'm going to be losing this one. Yep, I'm dead. And I've been knocked out and I've lost the quest. Aww. Oh, yes, I failed. It's shitty, I know. And I, I lose honor because of that? Because I failed? I, I Okay. I will gladly accept this bounty, and I'm gonna go fight some Singalians. Or those 51 Vanskiri Raiders, that can also work. Americans have dollars, and Shirks have TL. Oh, okay. Got it. Lira. Indeed. So, Meturato, you have to have it installed, and then you go... Actually, let me just... Actually, I can't show you directly. Alt-tabbing doesn't work because I have it on full screen. Whatever. Once you have Warband in your library, you can click on the um, workshop. And from the workshop, you're going to be able to search 
for Prophecy of Pandora and install it. You just have to practically subscribe to the mod and it will be downloaded and installed on your Steam client. Well, Shy Whisper, a good tip would be to have a small elite army and fight against bigger armies bigger than yours. That should rake up some uh, renown for you. For example, this battle is not going to give us any renown whatsoever. Hopefully this quest takes into consideration how many we kill and all the renown that, that it should give us. Oh, I have Mountain Blade Fire and Sword. Speaking of, if you guys want to vote for it, uh, type in exclamation point game poll, one word, and you're going to be able to vote where are we going to be playing next week on Tuesday. That too, Eric Nader. Okay. Thanks, Christopher Lincoln. So, how many? How? Oh, hello. Fuck yeah, prisoners! I missed. I missed those prisoners. I missed having them. Three K. Okay. If we're gonna fight against one Singalian band in the desert, we should be making a lot of cash. Well, a lot of points for the quest, which in turn will give us a lot of cash. So, let's go to Singal. Mm, I do not. I don't have PUBG. Not a big fan of the game. Not particularly fond of Battle Royale style games. I don't know. They simply never were my type of game. They never tickled my fancy. Hello, indeed. Oh, golly gee whiskers, mister. That's a bad map. Give me another one. Much better. Much better. Infantry a bit forward. Like so. Can I play a horror game? We currently have already established quite a... You know, stable schedule, but maybe I can add a horror game in one of the variety streams days. Okay, Shire Whisper, which game is that? Or are you referring to the War Sword Conquest Winds of Magic mod? Which we do plan on, you know, tackling someday soon. Got a Baron Mineur from the Prisoner Train? Oh, so you're playing Floris right now. All right, dude. Congratulations. I already have quite a few horror games in my Steam list. We could just pick one of those. Oop. That was a lance pointing towards my chest. No, thank you. Infantry charge. Cavalry charge. Archers. Ten paces forward. That should do the trick. No. No. Angulari Baron. I can't. As I said, tight schedule, my man. Gotta keep on playing Prophecy of Pendor. Especially since this is a recording that's gonna be going on YouTube. Oh, okay. Are you thinking of Age of Wonders, she whisper, Shy Whisper? Because I um, was quite fond of Age of Wonders a while back. And I'd like to give Age of Wonders 3 a shot someday. Seems like a fun little game. Okay, I think everyone can charge in now. Level 28 has been achieved. All that XP grind really paid off. Great. But anyway, Age of Wonder really has a robust magic system. Mm, it's turn-based. I understand that Spellforce is a real-time strategy game. Spell Break? Oh, okay. Yes, I think so. I think it's uh, one word. 
yeah, it's like Myth and Magic, only it has a hexagon, hexa, hexagon, hexagon, hexa, hexagonal, hex, I can't pronounce that, it's, it's kind of hard to pronounce. So it's hexagon, hexagonal, there you go, it has a hexagonal um, pattern, battle pattern system. Nope, no, no, that's uh, that's another game, Arena. You're confusing the game. Uh, that's Age of Mythology, which you're thinking of. I'm talking about Age of um, Wonders. Can I spell Arnold Schwarzenegger? Spell it. Uh, I guess I could. A R N O L D um, S C H W A R Z E N E G G G G as in George E R. There you go. I spelled it out, I guess. I think you wanted to say pronounce, but whatever. I did both. Well, won't really get into talking about Spellbreak. You just want to put it out there if you want to check it out. It's just a game of mages fighting each other. Oh, it's a battle royale, isn't it? Should I whisper? It's a battle royale with mages? Because if it is, I really am not fond of battle royale games. Just don't like them. Hello, Eleven Ravenstone Rangers. Why don't mind if I do? Some Cure Guard. Empire Heavy Infantry, yes please. Crossbowman, yes please. Warden, sure. Matter Arms, sure. And two Highlanders. I really don't like Highlanders because they don't consistently come equipped with shields, so that's why I kind of skipped over them. Sure, Julia, yes, yes, yes. Please talk and make love. Why? They're cool? I don't know, man. Just don't like it. They're not enough in-depth for me. I have no idea. Just get in the arena, you scrounge up for some weapons, and then bash each other's brains out. Really doesn't feel interesting. I'm sorry. That's why. And I guess each with their own, of course. Mm, yep, it's still the same shit. It's it, but it, but instead of um, what it, was it? Instead of um, soldiers scrounging out for weapons, they scrounge out for for spells. Same thing. Did we finish the quest? We did finish the quest. Okay, let's go back to Windholm and give it in. Mm, I'm not sure, Skulltag. Does Mountain Blade count as Stellaris? And if I were to play a multiplayer game, I'm more into RPGs and into, you know, League of Legends and stuff like that. But anyway, let's get back to Prophecy of Pandor. We finished the quest. I think we need to level up some of... M Actually, no, just me. I need to level up myself. There you go. Intellect 2. 12. Surgery 4. Inventory management would... I'm just going to put a point into inventory management. I need more space. I need more space for that. There we go. Uh, you said that it will start your own kingdom soon. What things must be must be safe to start? A companion with high persuasion, a huge amount of money, a good medium-sized army. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, gold bars are not really that necessary... Because you will always be able to find more as the game goes on. Um, what you do need is right to rule. You need a decent army size for between 200 and 250. You would be okay to start taking your own castle. Uh, would be a good idea to have a really good dedicated doctor, a good pathfinder, and definitely a good engineer. It's a good idea to also have a dedicated emissary as well. True. 
Yes, exactly. Gold bars are more like a emergency situation where you definitely need some troops right now. Mm, I don't think they changed. Nope, they did not change places. I'm gonna go back to the goods section and sell some of the stuff. Good. Grab some extra food. And this time it's just fish, because I don't know. Fish. And there we go. Have you played RimWorld before? You kind of want to get back into that game after you mess with Pandora some more. Uh, people have been recommending RimWorld to me quite a bit. Uh, sadly, I did not buy it. It wasn't on sale this year, so I couldn't get my hands on RimWorld. Sixty-three, twenty-four rank points. You receive the Kraken plate mail randomly. What? Whoa! What the fuck? Jesus! Can you guys see? Now that is amazing. That lordly Kraken plate mail. Oh, okay, Chris, then someday I'll get RimWorld and Factorio, because both RimWorld and Factorio are never on sale. No, I did not. I only got the Kraken plate mail as a reward for this particular quest. That lordly Kraken plate mail. Jesus. Well, I am... Um, Kind of sure that we're good to go now. No, it was not for promotion. It was simply for the bounty quest. It apparently, it randomly gives you a piece of armor. Rumble did have one fiasco with people selling keys for the game in gray markets because someone got a hold of a ton of them before. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I never experienced that before either, Eric Nader. Anything else I can do to help? Nope. No further quests. I'll just have to wait until uh, they spawn back. Okay. So. Let's give that piece of armor to one of the boys. Beautiful. And what's going to be our next move? No quests, no obligations. We are sitting at 198 soldiers. I think I'm going to go play around with the Empire a bit. Going to go fight fight them a little bit. Mm. The plan would be to take Shield Storm Keep. That's where we're going to be starting our faction from. And then just work my way down until we get Ethos. And, well, the rest of the Empire territories. You got the lordly version of the Shadow Legion chest for doing the bounty quest in the early game. Hello, Zerath. Welcome back to the inn. Okay, so maybe it's something new that was added in 3.9.3. That's a good update um, that I'm going to be mentioning in the new guide. But I did that quest, I think, two times before, and it didn't give me a reward. Maybe there's a small percentage chance. Instead of giving you uh, units, it simply gives you a piece of armor. A random piece of armor. And we just got super fucking lucky, and we got the chest piece. Lordly, goodly chest piece. Is there something stopping us from creating our faction right now? Is there something stopping us? Let's see, what are our skills? So I'm providing spotting and looting. Sir Alistair's tactics, Julia 5 engineer. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Pathfinding is also pretty good. Surgery 8. I guess we could work with surgery 8. That's not too bad either. Hmm. Well, as I mentioned, my dude, 
I am going to be going for Shield Storm. True, true enough, man. True enough. I would like to hunt down for a Qualus Gem first. Yeah, I think I'm going to be hunting down for a Qualus Gem first and then uh, deal with maybe getting a castle. Since we're here, I will go ahead and sell that. Keep the Kraken Shield for right now. Check the tavern. Sell some soldiers. Great, Anne. Anything from your travels? Nothing. Ramoon. I'd like to sell you all of my prisoners. William is nothing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'd like to hunt down a Qualis Gem so I can start a Knighthood Order right away. That's the plan. So, let's go to reports, victory progress, and check what armies are spawned. We got Judah the Ravager, the Dread Legion, anybody else capable of giving me a Qualis Gem? Well, except the Noldor, which we're not going to be fighting against. Or the Inquisition. No, it seems just Judah the Ravager and the Dread Legion. I don't think I'm going to be able to fight against the Dread Legion with my current troops, so I'm going to have to check on Judah the Ravager's status. So, we're going to be going in Jatu territory a little bit. Uh, there is no magic as in uh, firebolts or stuff like that in this one, Shy Whispers. Uh, the only magic, magic present in this game is highly enhanced gear, I guess. Yeah, yeah, enhanced weapons and armor. That's the only magic present in uh, Prophecy of Pandor. And these Qualis gems, which are incredibly, incredibly valuable, apparently. But besides that, they don't really utilize, you know, magic, per se. Uh, besides that, I guess the potions have hack on, because they're kind of magical in, in the way that they increase your strength. It depends, Aragnator. It depends if Judah is currently beaten up or if he is super, you know, full jacked up on soldiers. It all depends on what's Judah the Ravager's status. I feel ya, Shy Whisperer. I don't think uh, I'd like to get hit by fireballs either. I don't know, I got a feeling. I'm going to go to Laria and ask um, the current locations if anybody's seen where Judah is. Because I think you can ask the tavern the tavern keepers where they're at. Having some soldiers leveled up. And haven't seen this one in a while. Really missed it. Cure guard. Axman. That should do it. Marketplace goods. Grab that food, and let's check the tavern. Well, I guess so, if you don't befriend them beforehand. Adventurer, well, he's not drunk. Dex Morin. Any news about invading armies? Dread Legion is near Maras. Venskiri Raider Army near Jaik. Heretic Army near Ethos. No words on Judah. So, if there are no words on Judah, he's most likely over here in this territory somewhere. Where is Maras Castle? Oh, over there. Right, Dread Legion is Snake Cult, if I recall correctly. Well, really, it doesn't matter. Let's go into the Jatu territories a little bit. Uh, what tips would I give for making more money? You own factories in every city and you're not at war with... Uh, but uh, between upgrading your order and improving six fiefs all the time, you almost spend more than you earn. You make 5k every week on wages, but never go over 40k before spending all your money on upgrading something. Spiderbite, first of all, do stop improving fiefs. They, it, it's practically a waste of time. The time it takes to improve them is not cost efficient for uh, the money that you're going to be getting. Uh, utilize the Knighthood Orders to start conquering the world, and that should be more than enough. Uh, yes, I heard, Shy Whispers. I heard bad things about Atlas. I understand that it has a lot of negative reviews currently. 
And yes, giving your knighthood order blunt weaponry would make you capture more prisoners, thus making a shit ton more money. Yep, exactly like Arenator just stated. Is it new that you, you can marry the woman you want no matter what? You're currently a vassal of the Fears and you can marry uh, Lady Sonadil from Sarleon. And he gives you his okay to marry her. Nope, it's not new, Uncle Bomb. You could do that from the beginning as long as you're an honorable bloke. What do we got here? Jetu Black. Hello. Judah the Ravager, 468. With 79 battle riders, 82 lancers, and 153 raiders. So he has practically double our numbers. No enhanced horse archer AI, so... That might be doable. Might be doable. Nope. No, Uncle Bob. I married while not being part of any faction. Hmm... If I could bring Judah, the Ravager, over here to the hills, then I can definitely kill him. I just need a good map. I just need a good map, and it should be doable. He's just patrolling. Come on, man. You can get me. You can totally get me. Come here, brother. Okay. Some soldiers. Or not some soldiers. Just Gavera. Just Gavera. Okay. Well, as long as you have a walled thief, you can definitely, you know, marry her. Okay. Gavera reached looting seven. Good for you. I think I can, Pytus. If I have the right map, I think I can defeat the Jatu. As long as they, you know, engage me. What are my opinions on having random overpowered monsters spawning every now and then to just ruin your day? Quite a challenge. An interesting challenge, but I assume you're, ta you're still talking about Atlas. Yep. I agree with Arenator. That's why I'm slowly bringing them towards the hills of the Noldor. And that guy's gonna get in the way and he's gonna try to attack me. Yeah, you better fucking run. There. Or maybe I can get Lord Eric over here to act as a, as a distraction to that big army. That might do me good. Come on, keep following. Keep following. Of course, those guys will, will want to get involved now. I think that should be enough. A little bit more. A little bit more. Oh, save here. That should do it. Okay, perfect. So, 502. Okay, shy. So what do we get here? 